So one of the things we didn't do in the previous episode is go into what I call the northern part of Mountain Lake. So there's a kid's park, and this is early enough in the morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Um, it's also on a Friday. Usually the crowds end up coming in close to uh, the afternoon on Friday, and it gets pretty busy on the weekend. But the weeks are nice and calm. So if you want to really relax, come here. Uh, definitely during the week. Um, this is the cafe window. Um, this is where they sell ice cream, especially in nice hot days. Also, it looks like breakfast is no longer served here due to COVID. Um, this is the family pool, uh, which is quite nice. And the family pool um, is really not as crowded during the week at all. Yesterday, there were only maybe five people in it until we arrived. Um, also, I'm gonna go down and show you the boats here. Uh, this is the cafe. Unfortunately, I can't get into it right now, um, but we'll show you some of that a little bit later. Uh, they're really open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from four to about eight o'clock. And there is an outdoor patio area which is quite nice. And now we're gonna head over to the adult center. So let's head on up to the adult center here. They've got a nice patio. They've rebuilt this after the fire many years ago. Um, and you can notice the patio area is a nice place to go read. Um, and let's walk in here and see if there's anybody in here. So there's pool tables. There's a library, there's ping pong tables, foosball, and there's a bingo parlor. And here's a nice little quiet library where you can play video games. Uh, they do have internet here at Mountain Lakes, for those of you who don't have your own Starlinks. And the internet itself is not extremely fast, but you can usually get good Wi-Fi service here in the adult center. And you can see outside the back section that leads to the adult pool. So let's walk through here. You can see the outside patio area, which is a great place to sit when they have concerts and bands. You have to get here early to try to get those. And let's walk on down here. They also have Sunday services here, at least they used two years ago. Now we're going to go out to the adult pool. And there's the adult pool area. And it's actually quite nice. I've noticed here that they've now put steps on all four corners. That's completely new. And I haven't tested the water. Oh, it's actually a little bit heated, so it's nice. And there's two jacuzzis. Uh, the team usually cleans these pools in the early morning. So usually you can't get in before eight, nine o'clock because they're doing cleaning. Uh, there's also showers over there and bathrooms and a nice patio area that you can sit at. So something new at Mountain Lakes is if you go into the adult pool, you can actually get to a weight room now that's located off to the left of the back door. Let's go check that out. So there's also horseshoes over here and a nice little picnic area. And there's a lot of camping in the northern part. I actually prefer the southern part, but the nice thing 
about the upper area is there's a nice little duck pond over there. The thing I don't like about the down uh, plots or the down slots down here is that the RVs are pretty close to each other. But if you have a group of friends, it's nice. Also, it's very convenient to get to the pools. It's very convenient to get to the lake when you're down here. Um, it's a little quiet and warm up top, but I seem to like that. And now there's a little boathouse that we're gonna come to over here. And you kind of get a good view of what's around here. There's the adult center, there's the uh, restaurant. Um, and you can see that there's a lot of people that tend to like to uh, camp down here. Lots of geese. Um, it's very, if I haven't mentioned this, very dog friendly. So it's very, very nice. So let's go down to the boathouse, which is nice. And of course, when you're a member, everything's free, except the food, um, obviously. Here's another example of a cabin. There's really several different sizes, depending on how many people you have. There's the tiny ones. And you have the ones that have a living room, a little kitchen, and a bedroom like this one. And you can see that a lot of the cabins are right on the lake. Uh, this is the boathouse, which is nice. And they have paddle boats. They usually open up um, in the afternoon. They also have kayaks now, which is new. And yesterday I saw a paddle board. I don't know if somebody brought that. But um, I think you can actually borrow the paddle, paddle boards as well. And I've noticed some of the new boats have um, little canvas tops. So usually they let you take them out for about five, 10 minutes. But if no one's waiting in line, you can stay a little longer. And again, they've got a little beach area. You never see a lot of people sitting over there, but it's got sand. Since it's Friday and they stocked yesterday, the fishermen are out today. And you can see that they're taking advantage of the new stocks. Well, these are the geese, by the way. And as I've learned, don't get too close. They sometimes are not happy campers. No pun intended. Uh, you can see different shapes RVs. Uh, some people have some quite elaborate, expensive ones. Other people uh, just some smaller trailers. And you can see here's an example of another uh, small cabin. Uh, the nice thing is the patios. Um, and you can see it in a lot of nice little trailers. The advantage with those is you can take your car and go into Ontario or Rancho Cucamonga, Victoria Gardens, uh, which is pretty close. So, here you can see we're heading toward the front gate. So, we're toward the entrance right here, and you can see that the, uh, it's a nice open area for the RVs to come through. Um, also, you'll notice here on the other side of the trailer, there's a uh, place to clean your fish. Oh, and a plethora of little squirrels rabbits. Now the problem coming into Mountain Lakes, and I've had this problem for years, is always when you come in they never give you a map and you really can't see online what spaces are available. So you spend the first 15 minutes kind of driving around seeing if your favorite spots are available. Or, and basically when you come in you just, there's an open spot with nothing in it. And you park there and then go to the office. The office is now located over here on the left. It's called the Operations Center. You know, something out of a Patterson book. Um, and it's over to the left of the sales offices. 
the main gate is now double in size, but um, the little building for the main gate is half the size, but you don't actually go there anymore. You go to the operations center to check in and let them know what uh, campsite you wanted. So let's head in, talk to them. So the staff does a pretty good job of cleaning things up. And this is the new operations center, which uh, you need to use to check in. And you'll notice that the main building over there has been shut down. So you don't actually go over to the main gate. Um, but they have some picnic tables here. And uh, let's head on in. Let's see if the ladies will talk to us. So they have some rules in the gate. So, when we went into operations, they didn't want to be filmed. I don't blame them. So, we're going to find out some information on sales through the sales office. See if anybody's here. We'll open the door. All right, so we entered the sales uh, office, and who am I talking to? Hi, I'm Kat. I'm the sales administration. Oh, terrific. And what do you do here? And do you have contact information? How can they get a hold of you? They can call me at the resort number 909-887-7070 and I'm at extension 2. And you can also go to their website, mountainlakesca.com. Okay, terrific. And she can't give any pricing information. I've already been informed, but the salespeople can. So you can ask them. All right, thanks. And I guess we'll take off. So we're gonna head up. Uh, this is the fish cleaning center, which is way nicer than it was in the past. And uh, here's the operations people. They have a, a team of people who do the cleaning. Now there's also a little kennels. I don't know if I'd ever leave my dog in there for too long, but if you have to put him in something for a few minutes. Um, gets a little warm because the sun Let's head over to the golf course. So things have changed quite a bit over here. They used to have a lot of pine trees uh, at the golf course and the little leaves would go all over uh, the green. And you can see here that they got rid of all the trees on top. It's very open, so I highly recommend that you come in the early morning to the golf course or later in the afternoon. Uh, Set online that you can pick up the golf clubs and the balls here. So when you come in to play miniature golf, over on the left of the pole is a bucket full of golf balls um, and golf clubs. And I think there's maybe nine little holes here that they've been redesigned. So it's a big change. Uh, again, they got rid of all the tall trees, thank God. So, by the way, they've added tons and tons of uh, cabins. So this is the bottom lake, which at one time they used to call it, I believe, the Catfish Lake, and I think it was the Bass of the Trout Lake, but there's a small little path that comes over here. The cabins and RVs can park right near the lake here, which is nice in the evening. And you can also have a little dock that you can fish off of. And we're going to walk over by the activity center, the family center, which is straight on the bottom side. Oh, by the way, they stopped yesterday, so you can see all the fishermen are out today hoping those fish are hungry. We're going to walk along our fishing pool. the uh, 
bottom part of the bottom lake and here's the family center they have activities here usually all day every hour from thursday friday saturday and sunday and let's go ahead and walk in here at one time they had video games and you can see they still do there's pool tables ping pong tables they can check out stuff from the staff and they can spend their quarters on stuff um, but you can see here that on the weekend this place is pretty busy um, wow they even have a garfield ride what more in life can you ask for okay and let's head on out and let's head over to the other family pool so we're now again below the uh, lower lake and there's bathrooms shower rooms and this is the larger family pool the newer of them which in about an hour is going to get filled um, and it's a great place to lounge and by the way it has a much better shallow end um, and some a lot more steps for the kids uh, especially if you have little toddlers it's a better pool to go to um, and uh, kids have more of a chance of being able to stand um, and it's a little more dispersed which is nice uh, especially here in COVID the kids are up on top of each other uh, there's a nice little creek that runs by these campsites. Um, it's a great place to camp uh, if you want to hear the babbling brook. So let's head up. Hi. So where did the duck car come from? You know what? I don't know. It was like this when I started. Oh my goodness. But I got three more to add to her collection. So you just <laughs> keep adding ducks to it? Well, I have three more to add to it. <laughs> That's so awesome. Hey.